Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this. X plus square root of X equal to 3 over 4. Okay, the first thing is taking X to the right. So that we have square root of X equal to 3 over 4 minus x okay so the next thing is to square both sides right so we have square root of x squared equal to 3 over 4 minus x and then this is squared now this will go with this and then our x will be equal to 3 over 4 minus x into 3 over 4 minus x so we can now multiply our x is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 4 times 4 is 16 so we have 9 over 16 then minus 3 over 4 times x will give minus 3x over 9 then minus this times this again is 3x over 4 by the way this should be 4 because it is 3 over 4 times minus x that will be minus 3x over 4 then this times this will give positive x squared now what do I do? X is here and it's equal to 9 over 16 minus put these two together you know we will be having um, 6x over 4 then plus x squared right Okay, so from here, this is over 1, and um, this is also over 1. We can find the LCM, and it's going to be 16. So multiply 16 by everything. We have 16x on this side. We have 16x, then being equal to 16 will cancel itself, and we have 9. Now, 4 will go into 16, and we have um, 4 into 6x, then plus 16x squared. So, we have 16x, then minus, okay, equal to 9, minus, multiply this, you have 24x, then plus 16x squared. Let's arrange this better. So we have 16x squared first, then minus 24x. This 16x becomes minus 16x here, then plus 9 being equal to 0 because I have moved everything to the left. So we have 16x squared. Minus putting these two together, we have 40x, then plus 9 equal to 0. And like I've always told you, if you have big numbers like this, it will be kind of difficult for you to, you know, factorize. So use the formula method. Our A is 16, B is 40 minus 40 and then c is positive 9 the formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2a so our x will now be equal to we okay we have minus b and there's okay b itself is minus 40 so that means we'll be having positive 40 plus or minus we have 40 squared 
or negative 40 squared this is negative because b is negative 40 then minus minus 4 times a is 16 times 9 because c is um, 9 the whole of this will be over 2 multiplied by a which is 16 now let's continue with this okay so x will be equal to 40 plus or minus square root of um, the square of minus 40 will give from um, 1600 then minus 4 times 6 times 4 times um, 16 times 9 will give us 576 so we have 576 the whole of this will be over 2 times 16 which is 32 right okay so to continue then our x will be equal to 40 plus or minus we have 1600 minus 576 and this will give us 1024 this is over 32 right now let's continue very quickly okay so our x is equal to 40 plus or minus square root of 1024 is 32 and this is over 32 okay so do not make a mistake by cancelling out the 32 okay so our x here is equal to 40 plus 32 over 32 or you have 40 minus 32 over 32 okay so if we continue then x will be equal to if you put these two together you have 72 and this is over 32 or on this side if you subtract this then you will have from um, 8 over 32 right now i want to reduce some um, both of them to the lowest term very quickly okay so 72 divided by 8 will give 9 7 um, 32 divided by 8 will give 4 right or on this side we have 8 by 8 8 divided by 8 we have 1 and 8 into 32 we have 4 so this is to say that our x1 is 9 over 4 and then our x2 is 1 over 4 but then what is the original equation the equation is x plus square root of um, x equal to 3 over 4 right now from the look of things you will see that this cannot satisfy the equation because 9 over 4 plus this is already more than 3 over 4 so our x1 does not satisfy but if you put in x2 into this equation you will be having 3 over 4 so x2 is the only solution that satisfies the equation thank you for watching